You asked for it, so I'm doing it. Today, I'm showing you how I made this. What's up and welcome back to Gabe Miller Music. Today I'm walking you through how I made some acid techno metal, partially on the Korg Electribe 2 and partially using VSTs in my DAW of choice, Reaper. I'm gonna walk you through both aspects of the production, so without any further introduction, let's jump into it. Starting off with the Electribe. <laughs> Pretty simple setup going on here, and I'll show you a couple of like bonus sounds as well. The main sound is this acid bass. The oscillator is a sync saw. Let me lift the filter. Get rid of the effects. Pretty standard so far. The filter is a low pass filter, AKA a high cut filter. And that is the P5 LPF with the resonance turned up. Here's what it sounds like without the effects. And then here is the effect, which is the distortion. Without, with. It's a bit louder, but I really like the grit that it adds to this sound. It really brings it to life. Up next. This is a sine wave with the edit turned way up. That's where that grit's coming from. So normally it's just super clean, super deep. Turn it up. You get this lovely grit. So I'm not even using a distortion in this case. It's roughly where I was. And then I turn the effects on and that is the pumper to keep it out of the way of the kick. It's not actually synced to the kick. It's just synced to a four on the floor pattern. This kick is harder and I've got the punch effect on it to bring out that transient. This hi-hat is a 909 as is the open hi-hat. That low end is probably a bit much but I can tame it in post later on. So yeah, the biggest thing is just the acid base created by absolutely cranking the resonance on the filter and having that filter sweep just go downwards every note. That separated gritty sub bass and then just an absolute unit of a kick drum. I should also mention some kind of rejected elements that are just kind of fun. This is created using the repeater. And I have an LFO moving the edit of this sync saw and this is a straight up saw with a lot of glide and um, the chorus effect turned to where it is just entirely dissonant. which is kind of fun. I didn't use it here, but I wanted to at least show it to you as a fun techno element. Jumping into the DAW next, I've done some very light processing on the Electrive portion. Just a bit of EQ. And then I've layered in just a soloed lead later on. Just recorded directly from the Electrive. I knew I was gonna bury it in the mix anyway. But let's get to the exciting VST bits. starting with the guitar. So all of the real instruments are contact instruments. This is Shreddage 2, which I've used for most of the metal stuff that I've done. I'm not much of a guitar player and I don't own a guitar, so I have to make do with this. It sounds pretty good. That's what it sounds like raw, and you'll notice stereo double is checked here, and you can even do stuff like palm muting. 
uh, at lower velocities is the way I have that set up. Then I went and pitched it down. Way down, an octave down. We're going for really low tune, thick gauge string here. And if it sounds a little bit artificial, that's fine. It's stylized. It's uh, reminiscent of the Doom soundtrack. And then Grind Machine by Audio Assault as my amp sim. And then I'm cutting some lows to make room for the bass guitar. And then I've got this layer that kicks in halfway through, which is simply not pitched down, so it's knocked above. With some different amp sim settings. Up next, the bass. There's an add-on to Shreddage 2 that is Shreddage 2 bass. Sounds quite nice. I'm running that through Grand Machine as well on the preset Bass Master. Then a little bit of EQ. So all together, just this wall of guitarage. So the drums are played in using my Alesis drum kit and then quantized and then I've added some little double kicks because unfortunately that's one of the things I am not all that good at yet. I'll get there. It is triggering get good drums. This is the periphery format helper and signature pack kit, which is really freaking good. I'm a huge periphery fan and periphery four is a fantastic album. And these are the drums from that album, and they sound absurdly good. I've also mapped cymbals around a bit so I could get some splash cymbals in there, some trina cymbals in there. So these are fairly artificial in the way that they are programmed. Quite a few steps removed from playing it live, but damn, this drum virtual instrument sounds good. I've got turbo turned up on pretty much everything, and I've made some adjustments to cymbals, their panning and volumes, all that kind of stuff. And just for reference, I am using the bronze custom snare. In this case, if you wanted to go for a different vibe. The snare has quite a bit of influence on that. In this case, this really fit the track. And then I've got a bit of compression. Just a tiny bit of EQ to get rid of some of that boxiness. But like, it needed very little processing. So, all together, including the Electribe synth. What is hopefully a fairly convincing take on metalcore, albeit fairly artificial and electronic. I've already mentioned using Velocity for palm mutes, and I should also mention, in this case, I had forgotten to do that little half step move up on the Electribe, and so I just faked it because I knew I was going to bury it in the mix with a really basic uh, serum patch modified from a preset. Once again, resonance cranked. Bit of distortion. That's just in there very subtly. And then I've had some fun with uh, pitch bends. And finally, in this breakdown... I've used an element that I actually did record for a previous song, that pick scrape, because uh, that's not contained within the shreddage VST as far as I know. And then for the second half, I've duplicated this track and added Infiltrator by Devious Machines, a plugin you've probably seen on this channel before, for some wonderful 
glitchiness with a bit of volume automation so it sticks out. Now also, got a duplicate guitar track with some glitches on it as well. But now with all this instrumental stuff being shown, let's jump into the vocal mix. Igor, the vocalist, gave me a ton of stuff to work with, so here's just a cool example of the raw vocals. Double-tracked, panned hard left and right, as you can see here. And for those big sections, it's triple-tracked, which is excellent, and I've got just a tiny bit of room reverb. Fight! Just to push it into the background a little bit, give it some space, and... These vocals are then processed using a folder, so I'm just processing the entire vocal bus essentially all at once. So that is OTT, just a little bit, just a little bit of EQ, a little bit of compression, just kidding, a lot of compression, and a bit of distortion. Just really push the aggression of these vocals. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. And then finally, uh, for the breakdown, I've once again added Infiltrator. So that sounds like this. Which is just awesome. And then a, an even more intense layer. So these together. where everything just breaks down into complete chaos. If you'd like to see the full song, you can click or tap up over here. And if you'd like to see some more Electribe or some more metal, you can click or tap over here somewhere. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with a new video in a little bit.